Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I am your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield. And today, we're going to do another Zolan's Opinion video today, my friends. So, as you can see in the title of um, whether or not uh, this game is gr growing or shrinking or not or whatever, um, I want to tell you guys a little bit about this. If you're a newer player and you've never played Lotro or you're curious about it or you're just want to know a little bit about it, I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown, a little few minute video here. This game is really awesome. It's growing right now, and there are pros and cons to this game. Absolutely. I've been playing this game a long time, but that doesn't matter for a new player coming into the game, right? Or someone who's been playing a long time, or someone coming back to the game, playing the game. There are definitely pros and cons. This game is a fantastic game. One game thing I like about this game is it's not super, there's not a pay to win thing happening there are things you can buy in the store to help your character out but it's not like you can't earn stuff in the game normally it's not like a lot of mmos these days are getting into like lots of like microtransactions constantly and you have to have this to even play the game and most phone games and things like that um something a lotro just doesn't do another big pro to lotro is the fact that it does a fantastic job with the lore okay so if you're a new player and you're just curious about this game and you've never heard about lord of the rings online it has a fantastic job with the lore. It sticks straight with the books. It's more accurate with the books than Peter Jackson's even, adaptations. So there's some things that will align with Peter Jackson's, right, that will make sense with his the, with the movies. But if you're someone who's read the books, you'll see that a lot more things align with the books. Breeland, wherever you are, right? So right now, I'm here in Breeland. So uh, this is the south of Bree. Um, the world is vast. A lot of people don't know. It's one of the biggest video games that you can walk around in, okay? So, like, for example... Um, the actual map locations it's massive um if you want to walk all the way from the far north of forage which is like a northern place or you know erdluin near thorns hall through the shire all the way down to let's say you know south southern parts of mordor or down where uh, the dual amroth or up to you know Eriador and er uh, you know erebor iron hills right um you can go pretty, it's just, it's massive. So it's actually one of the biggest games. The only other games that are bigger than it, that are in, the infinitely generating games, Minecraft and No Man's Sky, I believe, from the last time I checked. Um, and they've added more areas too. So it's, the amount of exploring you can do in this game is fantastic. So maps wise, there's never, there's all these things you can do for exploring and deeds. And you can play this game with a group. It's very fun with groups. Again, if you ever like to join our group here on the server, Crit Hollow, you are welcome to. Um, just go to my live streams. There's always a link to our Discord there. You can join and hang out with us and play. But it is a fantastic game. I highly recommend it. But there are some cons, of course. There are some things that they have been improving on. And I want to talk about one more thing. So a lot of people, I do not have this problem as much now. This has been improved greatly over the last few years. But one of the big downsides to Lotra in the past was lag issues, all right? issues with your character lagging for a minute and then you're fine you know maybe you lag for a second you're like well that was annoying when in the middle of combat that doesn't happen quite as much anymore it still does happen but that is being heavily worked on right now in 2023 because the game is massively growing again okay and you're like well why is it growing again isn't this game from you know 2006 i think it is it's like yes it is but there's been massive massive graphical updates excuse my tongue twister there um and it, it has a lot of things going for it right now, right? There's a lot of hype with Lord of the Rings stuff again. Whether you're a fan or not a fan of Rings of Power, that's totally non-existent. Whether you liked it or you hated it, the point is both groups of those people started coming to Lord of the Rings online when people were finding it. One thing that is also a negative that I've always said about this game is they're really bad. And they, they didn't do a really good job of advertising it all the time. So I'm trying to help with my channel to do that because we do that a lot on my channel. So again... Like and subscribe if you do like Lord of the Rings content. We don't just do Lotro, but we do lots of Tolkien content here. But I love this game. Um, but yeah, there's lag issues. They're trying to fix those right now. That's one of their main goals this next year. They've been working on it. It's a lot better than it used to be. Four or five years ago, before I made this video, I would have lag on a regular basis. You know, maybe if I played for two hours, I'd have like one minute of lag several times, right? 20, 10 seconds here, 10 seconds here, a rubber band kind of thing. Um, again, it wasn't ever crushing for me, um, but then it's gotten so much better that I maybe have a second or two of lag once every, like, two hours of playing this game. 
it's very rare for me now. Other people, it depends also on your system, on your internet, that kind of stuff. But um, also the engine, they're trying to update things and upgrade things because the engine is older, obviously, like every other MMO, like World of Warcraft 2 is an older engine and all that kind of stuff, right? Again, all great games, all great MMOs. But another thing, why is the Lord of the Rings Online growing? Why is it growing? Well, I think there's a couple reasons. One, again, it's a lot of lot of love for Tolkien content coming out again, right? A lot of stuff. Row of the, War of the Rohirrim is going to be coming out from New Line Cinema again. There might be other things made, other adaptations, whether good or bad. We'll see. Um, but it's bringing people to the genre of the books and therefore to video games. Because Lord of the Rings Online is probably one of the best renditions of Middle Earth, right, on a video game format. There's other great games, right? Battle for Middle Earth, Shadows of Mordor, all these great games which you play on the channel. But this is the one that's, you're you're in Middle Earth, right? Um, but another big one is kind of the issue, a lot of the, the world, world, world of Warcraft has been having, right, with its crash in players lately. I don't dislike World of Warcraft, nothing against World of Warcraft. I'm just saying that is a thing that's been happening. And what's happening is it's a lot of them, I've been getting comments on my channel, we're getting a spike of almost immigrants, basically, from World of Warcraft to other MMOs. So big MMOs that are similar-ish to World of Warcraft and have that same zesty feel, but new and maybe a little different, right? Which, because they are all different. Final Fantasy, that's a huge one scoring right now. Um, Guild Wars 2, another huge one that's growing right now. And Lord of the Rings Online is a massive increase. In fact, so much so that they're hiring, I know for a fact I just saw in the last two months, they are hiring new staff and they're upgrading their team and they're doing more and more planned. And I, you can go watch my update videos. I have a playlist all about updates for this. So again, this is my zone's opinion on what's going on in, in the world with Lotro and Lord of the Rings. But I have an update playlist that I just talked about how they're updating things and they have a whole plan set out for 2023 when I'm making this video. So I'm um, very excited. There's there's crafting updates. There's visual graphic updates. There's lag issue updates. There's it's they've got all sorts of fun stuff coming down the line to make this game just primo, right? Again, I've always loved it. I've always thought it was a primo game, but the the quality of life things are being fixed. So again, if you're someone who's like really loves Tolkien or just really likes a good MMO fantasy, right? You've never even you don't even know about Lord of the Rings. You just saw this video. You might want to check this fit. You might want to check this game out. Okay, again. Another pro to this, pro to Lord of the Rings Online, is its free-to-play system, okay? Its free-to-play system is easily been one of the best, okay? So other MMOs have always competed with Lotro. But the thing is, a lot of people don't know they were competing because Lotro didn't really advertise that much, right? So it has it's always had a solid fan base of Tolkien fans that know about it. So it's always been consistently here. It's never really had... It had one or two lulls in the last, like, 10 years, but it's never had, like, just crash where the game looks like it's going to end. It's never quite had that. It's always had a solid player base, Lord of the Rings Online. So, again, one of my goals here on my channel is I've been telling I would like to introduce it to other people to get other people to come in and try it, even if you're not a Lord of the Rings fan or you don't really know about this MMO. Check it out. It's really fun. It's really cool. You can be a dwarf. You could be a hobbit. You can be an elf. You can be a human. All right? It's super fun. You can also be a Bjorning, right? You want to transform into a bear. You can do that, too. Um... I, it's just so much fun. But again, their free-to-play system has always been great, but they just revamped it this last year to make it even better. So when they started their free-to-play system, it was like a real free-to-play system, right? You still had a little bit of occasional wall originally, 10, uh, 10 years ago when they started it. They are one of the first MMOs to go from subscription, which they still are subscription-based MMO, mind you. But they went into, a, there's a free-to-play system where you can play free-to-play for a lot of it and earn points in the store to get new expansions, to get new areas, and that kind of thing. Again, I highly still recommend, I have a video all on their their system, uh, but the revamp system. Now the revamp system is you can play all the way up to level 95, and the max level at the time of this video is 140. So pretty much over half the game. Um, and you can play that all free. And there's no weird paywalls anymore, as in, like, you don't have, like, a limited amount of money you can have in your wallet. There's not a limited amount of space you can have in items. You have everything like a normal player. Um, the big part of being a VIP is you get a few extra accesses and perks, pretty much. And also you get the newest, uh, the newest three expansions in the last, you know, two years. And the only thing you'd have to get for the game once you download it, if you want to, is will be the newest expansion. So the newest one, which usually range from if they're a small expansion, they're 20 bucks, and for the normal version, 
and for a big expansion, I think it's 40, right? So, but again, you don't even need to worry about the expansions until you've played 500 hours of the game, free to play, to see you like it. By then, if you played that much, you're probably gonna wanna spend a few dollars to get the end game content, right? And get the final expansion. Um, again, fantastic game. So free to play system is fantastic. It's really good. I don't find it super, super um, transaction, um, the transactions, excuse me, that's the right word. The transactions, like the microtransactions, they do have the Lotro store, which you can open up right down here, and it brings up a little box if you are in the Steam uh, client. Um, I believe, I use the regular one. If you're in the Steam one, it'll pop it up on a separate browser, but um, I just use the regular one straight from Lotro I download, not through Steam. Um, but again, it's nothing like, they're all quality of life things, or like cosmetic, or like things that like, you know, you can get, there are people like, can you get a level boost? Yes, you can buy a level boost. But again, it only go, they never do a level boost up to the max new level. It's usually they introduce a special level boost only to, I believe it's 100. And that's for people basically to help people just get into the game real quick, right? To just bump them into the game. So now, um, but again, it's not something that really like causes anyone. Everyone just levels up like normal in this game. Another big pro to this game, all right, is uh, again, so it is a subscription based game still, but has a fantastic real free to play system compared to no, not ragging on World of Warcraft, but World of Warcraft, you hit level 20, you can't log into your account anymore until you pay for a subscription. That's ridiculous. So again, that was kind of, remember I was telling you they kind of sh sharpened each other from a lot of people don't know that WoW and Lotro were kind of a little bit in competition, which is funny because Lotro is such a small, like it's small in population compared to WoW, right? WoW is one of the biggest MMOs ever. Um, but still, it had enough people that they they were noticing things. So Lotro would introduce something, then WoW would. And then Lotro would introduce something that WoW introduced. And it was like this little competition thing. And there were several MMOs at that time doing that. Um, again, that was... Uh, the Jedi's the um, the Old Republic. Star Wars: The Old Republic came out after the right the Galaxy MMO died um, or turned off. So again, Lotro is one of those MMOs that's been steady the whole time. A lot of MMOs have come up and died in the time that Lotro, WoW, you know, Guild Wars 2, Final Fantasy. These things have been around for a while now, right? They're all getting a little older, but they're still great games. Again, this is me per, uh, saying though that Lotro is a great game. I like all those other games. Again, I'm a very positive. I play those other games too. They're very fun. But again, my go-to MMO is Lotro. I like how it plays. The music is fantastic. We inter we interviewed the um, composer of the music of this on this channel, on my interview playlist channel, if you want to check it out. But um, it is fantastic. It just immerses you in Middle Earth. Like, as good as Peter Jackson movies, if not better, right? Um, great storytelling. Again, I have a whole playlist where I do voiceovers reading through the stories to help add to it. Um, that would be a con, I think. They do have voiced characters that are good in some spots, fantastic. But other times, you know, you get the one voice for one line and then there's a paragraph to read for the story. So what I've been doing is I make, well, I do voices, voice of the rings here, um, for those characters, whether they, whoever they are. So that's a little side note there. But again, fantastic game. Thank you for listening to this little, um, spiel. Hopefully it was enlightening to you a little bit. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, I really think this is a great game. I think that it's gonna keep improving. Um, there has always been a little bit of naysayers about this game I've noticed in the past. There always is, you all know what I'm talking about. There's always some naysayers for every MMO, right? Oh, it's not a good MMO, right? Everyone always, there's always that small group, that small minority group of people who say things like that about an MMO. I wouldn't listen to them. I'd go directly to the Lotro players and see what they think, right? Because again, one other big pro to this game is the community. There is not a better community I've ever played with. I've played a, uh, played a bunch of World of Warcraft. I've played a bunch of League of Legends. I've played all these other games that, you know, you occasionally get some pretty, ugh, you know, salty people. Um, this is one game that's not like that, all right? So I have rarely ran into a person, I think in my 14 years of playing this game, that was like, wow, that was terrible. Why was that guy so mean? Like that almost never. In fact, most times you world chat, you can ask something, people will answer, people will help you, people will meet you to do something. I used to do that all the time. I would help people when I saw them on there. I still do if I have time, um, but it's really cool. Great community. So it's fantastic in that way. Um, it still has the servers, right? 
servers. This is, a, I would say this is a con for people who are getting into it. Um, it's servers just like old MMOs, right? Um, they don't really have any cross server thing yet. So if you want to play with us, Crick Hollow server. But um, in the future, I'm hoping that they will update that. I have a feeling they might when they have the manpower and the game keeps growing right now, they might update it where you can do cross server things with instances and stuff. Again, they've got a major focus on the one thing. Again, the biggest one I was telling you was that the lag issue, right? Again, I have seen a massive improvement in the last three years. I have almost never have lag anymore. I used to have lag a lot, almost never now, but I still have friends who say they have lag. So it might be where they are compared to the server, that kind of thing too. But um, again, overall though, it's a beautiful game. I have whole videos on the UI. Some people complain the UI looks a little old. Um, I don't think so. I think it looks clean and nice. I've always liked it. Um, in fact, I like it a lot better than other games I've played more recently. Like, um, again, this is not a attack, but Guild Wars 2, I don't like its UI at all compared to Lotro. It's very, it feels messy and all over the place. Even though they do have it small, it's just kind of like the weird Aries. I don't know, I like the clean look better. But um, I'm sure there's mods you can cover that up well. But again, Guild Wars 2 is a great game. I like that game, it's fun. Um, I play with my friends sometimes. But, and very different, very different. This is a tag tab targeting game, right? Lord of the Rings Online. Um, visually, graphics, the light effects, the water effects, your character, everything. It, I think the graphics are gorgeous, and the and for this age of this game, right? And I think it's a beautiful art style. A lot of people are really into having the newest graphics, right? You want your graphics to look as real as possible, and then they compare it and say, "Oh, that game looks old." I don't think that's the right way to think about games like this, right? So this is a fantasy game. It's an art style, right? Just like you'd see any other game that's not designed. Let's say, for example, League of Legends, right? Or Valorant, right? Like the, their new shooter game. That's not really a real... It, it looks realistic to an extent, but it's 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 like cartoonized, right? Like the, how they look and how the buildings look. And it's almost like fantasy, right? Again, same thing, right? Again, I'd even argue that for World of Warcraft, right? Yeah, of course things look outdated, textures look outdated. One thing in Lotro is they've been updating a lot of textures. So a lot of things look way more gorgeous. They've been adding plants, textures, updating things to make it, because our systems can take in our computers, right, years later. So they've been updating that stuff. But I think it's a gorgeous art style. I think that's the wrong way to look at it. Lotro is trying to give you a beautiful art style and enjoy the world with a tiny bit of, of that feeling of still realistic tied to reality. Where like Elden Ring, for example, right? We all know it's trying to look like the real world in fantasy, right? It, they're trying to make things look like it does in real life, right? Um, as best they can with an Unreal Engine 5, which is cool. That's awesome. But like, that's not really what I'm going for. And of course it would be fun to try a new Lord of the Rings thing with that. I mean, Shadows of Mordor has great graphics like that. They're kind of fun. They're still an art style, but they look more realism, right? But again, Graphics wise, I think the graphics are gorgeous in this game. You can look at my tour playlists. They're pretty fun. Again, it is, it's all that style. What do you like, right? It's not gonna be for everyone. I, I totally get that, right? Every game is not gonna be for everyone. But I would say, try it out, give it a chance. The community's great. Um, there's, uh, Arkenstone is a great server. Crick Hollow is a server we're on. It's a great server. There's like five that are really big ones. If you're in North America, there is a Europe server. Um, it's really, it's really, it's a great game. You guys should check it out. So anyway, I think I've talked enough on this subject. If you want a follow up video or any detail on any of these certain subjects, please leave a comment. I would be happy to elaborate more, but I don't want to make this video longer than this. And thank you. Wonderful. My wonderful patrons for their support and Scully for being a Royal Guard. I appreciate that. Subscribe buttons there guys. If I did earn it and you want to come hang out with us, um, again, go to one of my live streams there. Every, my newest live stream will have a link for discord. If you want to join us. And play with us here and you got to make a character on crick hollow and um this server is definitely not going down guys it's go i mean not server game it is going up it is on an up up beat right now and the game is not going anywhere a lot of people like to make the comment this game is dying and i'll end with this it is not dying it is definitely the opposite so it is definitely growing compared to the last few years i've been playing this game there's a lot of new people joining and stuff and for good reason it's a great game so, um, and you know what else is a pro? The devs actually care about the people. They really do. As much as they have a small team and they're trying to grow right now and hire more people because the game's getting bigger again, they really do care about their players. And that's, 
a huge one. As we all know from video games, we really get sad when a company stops caring about their players and starts doing microtransactions and starts doing all this stuff to your game, right? We all know it. We've all seen it. We've seen it even games that are still good games, but it's happening, right? Like, there's lots of things, right? Again, I think there might be why certain things are happening in other games, but we're going to end on a positive note. This is a great game, Lotro. You should check it out. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day in Middle Earth. Again, subscribe button's there. Baruch Kazar Kuzar, I mean, you stay happy, my friends. And if you just found the channel, welcome to Voice of the Rigs. See ya. Stay happy.